So huge thanks to everybody that joined in last night, just in case if you missed it. Last night at seven o'clock we had a live class and we were demonstrating how to do lavender summer door wreaths. So again, using lavender that maybe you had foraged or sourced from your own garden, or as we said, someone else's garden. That was allowed, okay? So that was very successful. We got a great response. We had lots of spot prizes and giveaways, and they're all going in the post today. If you didn't respond, snooze or lose, too late. All them prizes are gone in the post already. But we had a couple of people on last night and they were asking about um, the bows for the Kerry fine. I obviously was a Kerry person rubbing the dub's nose in it, you know the way, and she helped to make a Kerry bow, you know. And then, of course, we had the Galway ones on and they were saying, well, what about Galway? So we can't really show. Not that I don't. Do you have a preference, dear, for Kerry or Galway? Um, I probably would, go, well, I'd prefer to go to Galway on my holidays, but we have family in Kerry, so I'm sort of drawn to Kerry. All right, <laughs> see, I would have more, cra I, well, I haven't really been to Kerry on holidays that much, but definitely Galway is the place to go for a bit of crack, you know, that way. So, and because, like, Myland's Garden Centre, Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne's so in Galway, yeah. Galway, so I don't think I know, we, I know we have students in Kerry, like the lovely David Doyle. We have, Dina yeah, Blooms. yeah, we have yeah, um, Flowers by Jen and Tralee, Absolutely. the Irish Green guys. Irish, yeah, maybe we have to go 50-50. <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk on today. But also, you often hear me mention a company called O'Neill's, okay? It's a floral sundry suppliers, but they supply people that are working outside the trade or even doing it from home themselves. Because that's a lot of problem people have. Like say last night you were watching maybe the class last night. And of course it's all great saying get the lavender out of your own garden. But what about the wire frames and what about the real wire and what about the wires and the organza bowls? You know, all the other materials that I use, you know, that way. Again, people have problems trying to source the materials. Now, we're always mentioning different suppliers, and I try to be as fair as possible. But yesterday evening when I went home, there was this big box was waiting for me. In other words, just didn't have a chance to open it. But I opened it this morning, and I'd say O'Neill's are probably thinking to themselves, do you know what, I'm going to get them girls ready for the autumnal wreaths, okay? So there was some amazing items in the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out there. I'm not going to be using their items today because um, it is kind of more autumnal and Christmas, you know the way, but they're ahead of the posse they are. So, um, because we will be using some of these this stuff on the Christmas courses, we'll be yeah. Using some of it on the Christmas course, but even for what I did last night, I go through it, you know the way, there's stuff that you could definitely, definitely use. So maybe if one of our secretaries is watching there, as in you, <laughs> you might actually put these details in the comments, okay? Because we're down a man this week, we are. So it's O'Neill's and they're in Carlingford in... County Loud. I was going to say Longford. Carlingford in County Loud. Carlingford is where all the hens parties go. That's right. The stags parties go there as well. So will somebody put O'Neill's, Carlingford... County Loud in the comments below. I'm going to give you their phone number so if somebody could type up the phone number for me. So obviously if you have any questions directed to, was it Garode was the Garode and Ellen I think it was. Garode and Ellen. So the phone number is 042 937 6977 and their email address, we're very organised so again maybe somebody might put this in the comments for me. It's info at O'Neill's witness flowers with an s dot ie so info at o'neill's flowers dot ie so any questions that you have regarding any of the materials that i'm showing you here this morning directed directly to them now the great thing is they've offered a discount to the students so our discount code is k a y s f s somebody might put that in the comments as well and that stands short for k's k a y s flower school f s and I'm sure they have the ribbons as well. Well, I actually didn't think of asking them, but I'm sure they have the ribbons. I'm sure they have, so yeah. So if the bows that I'm showing you, and you want to get the particular colours, give Garode or Ellen a ring, drop them an email, and they'll be Stephen able to has put up their email address. Thank you, Stephen. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks a million. So look at this whopper of a ring. Isn't that just fantastic, okay? So we would be using these as part of our Christmas program. Do you know that way? But even for anyone that was watching last night, the lavender ring, and where I use the straw bases, but I did show you the twig bases as well. Do you remember I showed them to you? But look at the size of these. Just ones. bring it They're down a tiny bit, yeah, yeah. And what Deirdre and myself was saying, like, what about doing them as double ones? You know that way, or less than 
break the bank and what about doing triple ones so we have great ideas for these for Christmas but again anybody that was watching last night and would like to do one of the lavender door wreaths and go that little bit bigger that would be a fantastic amazing place. you'd want plenty of lavender you want, you want to do lots of foraging plenty of rat lavender absolutely um, and don't bring it out as far you know the way I placed my one on on a 45 degree angle last night you could place it just directly onto the ring yeah you know, actually and um, it would be beautiful Stephen has put up the promo code thank you Stephen and Katrina Roach hi Katrina, hi, Katrina. she's put you? up all the details O'Neill's Garrett and Ellen the phone number and their email address and the discount code so Katrina your new secretary you've just been nominated thanks yeah, a million you're, you're going to be head of management Jane. and over Absolutely. on Instagram Mary Clark says that um, they have everything that for, for all types of flower arrangements yeah. she's bought from the you know before what, and they're actually really good yeah here. maybe we do maybe yeah, the maybe. next hen's party we're at yeah uh, <laughs> we'll pop in up to Carlingford so again, they have the bags of fruits, you know the way, our green apple slices, Granny Smith's, our red apple slices, the pink lady apples, They're probably not, I'm just saying that, you know the way. And this is a mixture of the limes, the lemons, the grapefruits, and I see a couple of apple slices in there as well. Now these are amazing value. It's seven euros for the bag. 750. 750, sorry, and that's including the bag, okay? So per bag, it's 750, or you can buy three bags. It's, it's a bit like more street. Three for 20, the last of the apples, three for 20, three bags for 20 euros. That's including the bag, so I thought that was great for you. But wait, you see these, okay? So straight away, I was thinking autumn. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? You know the way. Now these will be fabulous at Christmas, you know what I mean? But like last night was our summer door wreath, but as soon as we're back at the end of August, we'll definitely be starting on the autumnal uh, door wreath, and I'll be using these apples. So these bags of apples were 24 euros. Um, but aren't they, like they're very, they're really very good. Yeah, they you really are. You know, there's, there's even a bit of a worm coming out one of these, Deirdre. <laughs> You'd actually probably have to put a note on them to say, please Do don't not, not eat. <laughs> Like they're really, they're very, Sarah very good. Sarah said, girls, what's the supplier is this? Okay, so it's O'Neill's, Sarah. And if you just look above in the comments there, two of the followers, Stephen and Katrina, have posted all their details, their name, their email address, the phone number, um, their, and the discount code, because you get a discount by using K-A-Y-S-F-S. So I just think these up. I'm not going to use them, obviously, not yet, but I used them in September, but I'll be using them at Christmas as well. Now, if you've been watching that, we've been working on Christmas online this week, and I just love these. They immediately reminded me of, do you remember um, the, the Christmas song, um, The Little Drummer Boy? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to? Yeah, no, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, because yeah. little drums in them, aren't they just gorgeous? So these are the Christmas picks. Now, they have a full range of the Christmas picks, okay? And um, there's normally, I'd say there's definitely 12 in the bag there. You know, the way there's normally 12 in the bag. And again, we use this at Christmas time if you want to add a little bling. I just thought the little drum, you know, that way just was just something a little bit different. Mary but says she got her materials last Christmas for her wreaths from O'Neill's and she says oh, they were really great. good. So I definitely think we need to take a trip up. Uh, we might do them oh, and Evergreen at the same time. Yeah, uh, you know, like... When we popped up to uh, Charlie now in Evergreen, like him and Paula laid on the spread. We had the Ham egg, egg, egg and onion sandwiches. <laughs> we had a few sandals. Few tato crisps on the side and a big mug of tea. Do you know that way? Like we're not fussy, you know. That way? Like, we're, we're and a paper doors. cup will do. And a paper cup will do. That's all we're used to here at the school. Uh. Now I've actually planned to use a lot of this um, velvet kind of like velour ribbon, and um, as part because I just think this is gorgeous. And they have this in stock, so they sent out a roll. Just and it's not you. always easy to get. I'm telling you. You, when it comes to Christmas, you will not get this for love nor money because everybody goes mad about it. Like, talk about making your, your Christmas wreaths luxurious, you know, that way. And the thing is, anybody that's there, like, say, Mary, like, get on the ball, buy it in early and have all your bows made. Like, you know what I mean? Have all your fabulous collar bows made for going on your wreaths. Have them in your box, you know, that way. Obviously, when it comes near Christmas, we'll be talking a lot more about Christmas. But can you see the way I can have all my velour bows kind of like made, trimmed off the side, 20 gauge wire wrapped around the centre there, all packed in a box. And then when it comes to the Christmas, I have them. And we can also do our double version of our collar bow as well. And so, just um, on our Christmas programme, we'll obviously have a list of all the wholesalers yeah, in Ireland. So that I'm are... just mentioning O'Neill's because, as I said, this box came yesterday. You know that way. 
and um, I won't be using any of the material yet because we're going on our holidays, you know that way. We're leaving on a jet plane <laughs> very, very soon. So we won't be um we won't be kind of around for the next couple of weeks, but we will be back end of August and we'll be starting again. Now there was also they found on the floor there the tartans. Like tartan every year tartan kind of comes back out of the box. Um, I know we have a lot of Scottish people follow us, you know that way. So again, and this is the waterproof tartan ribbon. So it's great for anybody that hasn't got a porch way, you know what I mean, that at least then your bows are kind of protected. So we got robins, they must have been watching us yesterday, all our robins flying around. But we have like the pick, these are what we call Christmas picks, and the robin is already in it, or again, the individual robins, and they're on a nice stem. Because the ones I had That's yesterday, right, we had to wire um, them. There was like two little silver wires coming out of his legs, you know that way, where these are actually handy because they just speed you up. And he's a nice colour, Robin, isn't he? He is, looks actually. Bit like, I say he's been in Lanzarote, this Robin. He has a nice kind of like golden tan Golden tan, tan off, off him. Kind of glow. He definitely isn't He's probably Irish not a... What do they call the, uh, the... They tell us that they're not Robins, they're... What are they? They called oh my god the americans have a different name for robins okay put it as a question yeah what's what is it that the americans call robins oh i can't think of it uh, sarah says she says um girls i'm getting my husband to buy me module one as my christmas present that's a great and you know we do gift vouchers you know that way so if you go to the website stephen and katrina their website flareschoolireland.com www and um, there's a link on the website for gift vouchers you can buy them for any amount obviously i'm recommending cardinals helen send me your address helen i'll send you something nice <laughs> cardinals that's the word um we send her robin <laughs> <laughs> so here's our she's gorgeous you know that way now again for them twig rings that was shown you earlier on just using your glue do you know that way and gluing them on wouldn't they do be just amazing but again like mixed in and out through your fresh material but also broken up into smaller amounts you know that way and wired up individually so they're beautiful they are you know that way again all these are kind of movable and kind of can be spread around you see like two of them put on top of each other and then obviously if you want to put the three aren't they gorgeous but also these little berries these are great they are you know when you get your holly and i always find with fresh holly the holly is at the top all the, the ball oh yeah right? but the berries are all kind of down lower and it always just happens it's like murphy's law the length you want to cut the holly the feckin' berries end up being left on the chunky bit, you know what I mean? So these are artificial berries, and you literally just twist them onto your holly, onto your fresh holly. You can do it onto artificial as well, but it's just brilliant, like when you're just looking for that little touch of red, and then sometimes when you buy the holly in, now whether it's to do with the harsh winters and the birds, the robins and the cardinals being hungry or whatever, but there always seems to be a problem with the berries, isn't there? It always seems to be a shortage. So as I said, Come September, come Christmas, we'll be mentioning all that an awful lot more. But again, for anybody um, that maybe wants the ribbons that I'm going to be using now for our Kerry bows and our Galway bows, again, you can contact O'Neill's and their details are all in the comments. Just scroll up, back up to the comments there and you'll get them. And make sure that you use the discount code K-A-Y-S-F-S -S, and you get a discount. Okay, okay, so we had two Helens, one after the other that said Cardinals. So if they want to know which Helen is addressed, oh, do I want? You have to give it to the both. You'll have to give it to both of them, yeah. Um, this is the scissors. <laughs> I haven't actually tried this. It's brand new and it's in a box okay and um it's everybody else out there is recommending these scissors you know that way so i says oh well here i better follow follow what everybody else is doing so i bought one anyway so i'm going to try it and see how it goes now i'd say it'll be deadly for cutting the flowers i'd nearly know by the blade on it you know that way i haven't tried it but i'd say it'll be deadly for the flowers and the foliage for the ribbon i could be wrong so the things are like i said i'm going to try it so anybody that's interested in learning how to make a bow, um, watch carefully, take a few notes. Remember, you can always re-watch this video, like fast forward the first bit of it, and just kind of re-watch this section again. But also on our website, under blogs, I have like a whole section, training classes on all different types of bows. So I call this particular bow the Barbie bow, and it's the large Barbie bow, but what most other flowers call it is the cluster bow. So the cluster bow is the right name for it, but you know here, we always break the rules, and we like to do our own thing, so we call it the Barbie bow. So if you've ever watched me before, I don't believe in measuring, and I'm probably the worst measurer in the world, okay? 
So I call this a yard. So from that shoulder, the length of my arm, but just look at the length of my arm, okay? So from one shoulder, the length of my arm, I call that a yard. Now I'd be sacked, you know, because that's definitely longer than a yard, but it's also definitely longer than a meter. So I don't know what measurement it is. It's that measurement, okay? And you need two of them. Now I know Katrina that's watching there has the shortest arms in the world. So and the shortest arms, legs as well. And the well. shortest legs as well. She's only tiny. She has, <laughs> she's only like a little Barbie doll herself. But like where I was blessed with extremely long arms, Katrina was blessed with extremely short ones. You know that way? But she has a bigger chest than me. She does. So she stuck her chest out a little bit more. You know that way she could make her, her yard, as we call it, a little bit longer. So you need two yards before you use the other scissors. Two yards of the shades that you need. So obviously today it's green and gold. Are you it's, sure? It is green and gold, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. Um, I think, did you mention that Kenny is in the, the Horley, is it? Just I think, yeah, 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 yeah. So Katrina can let us know. So the Kenny is the yellow and the black, isn't it? Yeah. That's, so we have two yards, but as you can see there, arm stretches of green and two arm stretches of the gold, or whichever colours you choose to use. Chances are one of these is longer than the other, because obviously I stuck my chest in for one <laughs> of them. Katrina says these are pups. I'm compact. Comes <laughs> <laughs> in small, what's it, small, small. Good goods come good in small, small parcels, parcels, but she did get the big exactly. boobs in fairness. She did get the bigger boobs. She got bigger boobs than me. So what you do is you place your two colours together and you make a circle. So kind of like tuck this one kind of in underneath there, right? So you're kind of like tucking it in underneath and you're making a circle. Now the measurement of that circle is approximately 8 inches, which is 20 centimetres. And this is something I probably would say to you, maybe just check this. So if you have an A4 type and page, okay? See the way I knew that was in the drawer? If you see the state of this drawer, <laughs> the width of an A4 page is eight and a quarter inches. So if you were to measure, you know, your circle with the width of that page, you'll be a bent right, you know, that way. So have that approximately eight inches. And what you're going to do is roll it up until it's all gone. Now, people always say, how many times? Don't worry about the times. Keep winding your hands till all the ribbon is gone. So just keep wrapping, 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 wrapping up. Sometimes you'll have to kind of like tidy them up a little bit. And you can see there, the green one is a little bit longer than the gold one, but it doesn't make any difference at all. So keep wrapping till they're all gone. And I wouldn't even be bothered trimming that off because chances are, I'm going to do a little fancy cut on them afterwards. So I'm going to have to trim them later. So don't worry about it now. Now it's up to yourself. I always like the raw edges to be at the top. It really doesn't matter. But it's a bit of a disaster if the raw edges are in the middle. So if you can, try and keep the raw edges up near the top. You know, anywhere up there is grand. You're going to get this circle of ribbon and you're going to fold it over in half, okay? And where you fold it is where you're going to crease it. Now, out of habit, most of you the first time will go and squeeze down here as well. Don't, because that is going to be the loops of the bow. So try to avoid squashing down there. Because with this ribbon, once you put a crease in it, the crease stays. You see the way the crease doesn't come back out again, right? Now on the folded side of the ribbon, you're going to cut two corners and this is where I christened it Barbie. So when we had Barbie dolls when we were kids, they used to have these little knickers on them and the knickers must have started around your one's neck, you know that way, and there was hardly anything in the middle. So talk about high leg cuts, you know that way, leaving everything to the imagination and hardly anything in the middle. So when you're cutting your bow, think of the Barbie dolls pair of knickers, okay? Now, I, I, do you wear them knickers now yourself, Deirdre? I'd say Katrina. <laughs> I'd say Katrina would be wearing them all right. sexy knickers she does. So, I'm going to try her new scissors. Actually, it's deadly, this scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barbie would be left nothing in the middle the way this, this scissors is sharp. So, there you go. So, there's one high leg, high leg starting up around her neck, cutting down into the centre. Just to let you know, O'Neill's Flares have just joined us over on Instagram. So, O'Neill's, if you want to put up your details, uh, we did go through your box earlier on and um, if you want to throw up your details, there's lots of questions coming in and we've directed them to your email exactly. address. And what you can do through all the responses on the Facebook page and answer them all. Yeah. It saves me having to do it all. <laughs> so what I'm on then is I'm cutting out the second leg. So if I turn that upside down, you can see what I meant by the high leg cuts down into the centre and leave Barbie just a little bit in the middle there. Skimpy pair of bikini bottoms, okay? And then you open it out in the centre. Now, in O'Neill's there is a garage watching our Ellen. I watching. don't know who's watching. So if it's a man, and he might be embarrassed when we say knickers, okay? So then we just say dicky bow. So this could be, if he's going to a black ball, he can just cut a dicky bow short of shape, okay? Sarah and is saying, it. can O'Neill's put their details on Facebook as well because she's not on Instagram. 
Okay, so Anil's pop over to Instagram there when you get it's a chance. Facebook, yeah. Or Facebook, I meant to say, when you get a chance there. So now if you want some tails hanging out of them, and for our nails there watching, we're doing this as the Kerry colours, because some asked us last night about doing a Kerry bow. So this is great if you're driving from Kerry to Dublin, do you know, well, even if you're on the train, and to have like, whether it's on the train, all the bows on the seats decorated. Well, or, I tell you where now you really need a bow. Yeah. Is your feckin' suitcase oh, in the airport. Do you know what? <laughs> and like, then my son's girlfriend was there the other night, and she was laughing where they went to Rome there a couple of weeks ago. And every suitcase in my house has a bow on it. Like a bow, like something like what I'm going to do today, maybe not in fancy colours, like any colour bow. I have a bow, and the same bow was probably on the cases for the last 10 years. It's well battered and squashed or whatever. But when the bows come off the conveyor belt, we, like touch wood, we have been so lucky. First of all, nobody ever takes their cases by mistake. And remember on a conveyor belt, every case is black. If you have a black case, every other case is black. If you have a pink case, all the cases coming off the conveyor belt is pink. But when there's a big bloody bow on it, it's just deadly. And she was laughing about it. She says, when I seen Ben with the bow on the case, she said, I was laughing to myself. But she said, it was just made life so easy. And even like there, two weeks ago, Deirdre and myself, we went over to Lanzarote. I had my sister-in-law with four kids with us, with yeah. six cases, six 10 kilo cases, Ryanair flight, bring our, our cases onto the plane. And we were sitting near the front. I had the six cases all with ribbons and bows on them, you know what I mean? So when it came to putting them in the overhead, some of the cases had to go further down the plane. Because you know the usual, like Ryanair, all the overheads are full or whatever. So when it came to getting off the plane, I stood out in the aisle and I was like, now Sergeant Major, giving directions to the fellas in the queue. See that case there with the bow? See that case there with the bow? And all the cases were being passed up to us. Where again, I couldn't remember, it wasn't all my family, what colour cases they all had. Where the six overhead, all up in the overhead, it was great. It was obviously all the bow, all the cases with the bows on them. So it's so, deadly. And when you're actually coming through arrivals, there's that much lost luggage. Now, if you had a bow, you would be really able to point out your That's case. That's my case, exactly. You know? Like I've seen some of the videos that he throw. Do you know what Oh I my God. Horrendous. So back to the bow tied on the car, tied on the train. If they're on the suitcase, they need shorter tails, by the way. They'd be catching around the wheels of the case. But depending on where you're going to tie these, you can have these strings, or tails as I call them, as long as you want. You see coming out the back of the bow, right? Now, you might say which is the back and which is the front. There is no difference. Just on one side of the dicky bow, you know the way, just lay the two layers of ribbon. And again, don't worry about getting the lens right. Now, if you're putting these on the wing mirrors of the car, you know the way, which is a great place to put them, don't have these strings too long because they distract you. You know that way when you're driving, you don't want any car accidents. But if you're on the train, you can actually hang them out the train window or on the seats in the aisles, you know the way, and it'll be fantastic. So what you then do is you tear a thin string off one of the colors, okay? It doesn't matter what color, I'm gonna pick the gold one here. And the thinner that string, like so you can see there, it's fairly thin. The thinner that is, the better. So don't have that too thick. This skinny string goes across the bow, so the opposite way to your dicky bow. And the only difficult part of this bow now is actually tying the knot. So the two skinny strings are to tie them together and tie a double knot. Now at this stage, you'd love to say to, hey Stephen or Catherine, any chance there to tie that knot for me? But obviously they're not here beside me, so I have a spare tire. So you just rest it against your belly button, Tie your knot, gives you a free hand, pull the knot really tight, you can then let go of the belly button, pull it really tight and then tie a double knot. Now, if you're making loads of these, don't open them until near the time because they take up quite a lot of space. So you can store them like that till you're ready to use them. And what you can also be doing in advance is all the little tails there, you see the way you can tear them all skinny. So even on the suitcases now, to have shorter tails, right? This is what I normally do to them, is I have loads of little streamers kind of coming out of them. As I said, they're all squashed. Some of you are saying, would the, bow, would the bow survive the flight? Absolutely. I have the same bow on probably for the last 10 years. And I'd be laughing because when we go to a hotel in Dublin, the same bows, I never take them off. No, never take them off. Never take them off. Do you remember the year we went? Did we go to Orlando? We went and we to used... Orlando and we done green, white and orange bows on all our cases. You know that way? And it was gas like, it was actually when we came off the cruise and where they had unloaded all the cases and our six cases with the green, white and orange bows were all put together where one of the lads says, I kind of guessed you were obviously the same family. Just made life so easy. If you want to, to see with your scissors, you can stretch the tails, you know, that way if you want to and you can have curly ribbons coming out of them. Another great thing for these is the long-term car park in Dublin Airport. Every you know, time I do every it. Every time you come back to o'clock in the morning, you can never find your car. 
And if you have a black car, so is everybody else in Dublin Airport. If you have a red car, everybody else has a red car as well. So tie one of these on the on the uh, aerial of your car. Like you'll be a look like a gobshite, you know what I mean? But when you go in at two <laughs> o'clock in the morning, you'll be the happiest gobshite because there is this big bow on the top of your wing on your aerial. Don't drive it on the aerial, it'll snap it. So just have the bow with you. Hop out of the car, stand up on the edge of it, tie it onto the top of the roof of the car, you know, that way, and you know your car. So again, I store them like that until I'm ready. Now, to open the bowl, if you have a vase of water beside you, you can wet your hand. I haven't got a vase of water, so I'm going to lick my fingers, okay? And you're pulling the loops on the inside. So, the first loop that I have there is like a tail, because it's either the beginning or the end of the ribbon. So, pull the first one out, which happens to be a green one, and pull it to your chest. Now this is where people go wrong. They kind of go sideways like that. That's wrong. So literally pull it to your chest. Now normally if you've watched me do these bows in one colour, I normally go to me, to you, to me, to you. But that's when you've one colour. When you've two colours, it's to me, to me, to you, to you. So the green one came to me, and now the yellow one, or the gold one, comes to me as well. Even though they're not loops, treat them like loops. The next one, which is a green one, goes to you. But can you see the direction that I'm going and the way I'm twisting them, okay? And the gold one also goes to you. See the way I'm twisting it? And you can see the pressure I'm putting on the ribbon. The next one, which is green, comes to me. The next one comes to me. The next one goes to you. The next one goes to you. The next one comes to me. And do what you like with the last one. And that's how you open out your loops. You see, to get them kind of even. Now you start on the other end. Now, because I licked the left fingers, they're clean, so I'm going to lick them again. Really, what you do is you pull with the same hand all the time. Don't start pulling from the other side. Same side all the time. Now, I can't remember, did I go to me or to you? It makes no difference. So the next one, I'm going to go to me. The gold one, to me. The green one, to you. The yellow one, to you. The green one, to me. The gold one, to me. The green one, to you. Do you get the idea? To you, to you, to me, to me. Until all the loops are pulled out and do what you like with your last one. And that's how you can make your Kerry bow to tie on your wing mirror when you're driving to Dublin. And when you come to Rialto and you're going around the roundabout heading towards Croke Park, you'd be as well to park in Rialto by the way, yeah. hop on the Lewis. But uh, give us a little wave because you'll be past the Case Flair School. Now for our Galway followers that they're not getting jealous. Yeah, because we have to be um, impartial, isn't yeah, that the word? we have to be, yeah. We have to be supportive. Julie says, us. I've used a bow in my suitcase as far as Australia. It's so helpful in getting your case back oh, in reclaim. it's just deadly. Yeah, it's the best thing ever. See the new thing they're saying. You know the, the air code. Air, the air yeah, we have some air keys. Yeah. Just pass over the keys there. My son got me these at Christmas, you know that way. So again, I can find my keys, you know that way. So it's connected up to my mobile phone. So if I lose my keys, or normally it's not that I lose them, you can see the size of them there, no fear of losing them keys. It's like, you think I was a jailer. Um, but more can find them, do you know that way? Lisa gives the app on the phone and it tells me exactly. And Deirdre was saying she was following a florist on Instagram and he was going to... To his, Italy, he was going to Italy for a wedding and he had six suitcases. And they kept telling, his suitcases got lost and they kept telling them, no, they're not in Italy the airport or whatever it was. And he was able to tell them they are. He says, I have it here. He he put one of them little AirPods in all his cases. So that's a great tip for you. And you buy them, they're really cheap, Amazon. Yep. So again, I have my two arm stretches of the, the whiny colour, two arm stretches. Follow us for all your travel top tips. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's not just flare ranging you learn here at the Case Flare School. <laughs> so two arm stretches of both colours. Again, we're making that circle, the eight inch circle, which is the width of the A4 page approximately. You're winding it around till it's all gone. You don't worry about the number of times you wind it. You just keep winding up till it's all gone. And again, you can see one is longer than the other. Now, the last time I said to you, try and have the edge of the ribbon near the top, right? So which one will I pick? Well, what I'll do is I'll put the wine at the top on that side and the white at the bottom on the other side. Once they're not near the middle, you know, it makes it more awkward if it's near the middle. What you then do is you fold the loops over in half and you crease it on the fold, okay? It's really important that you don't crease down here because now you can see they were the actual loops of the bow. And if I had to crease them, I would have had a line going across them loops there, right? On your folded side, and again, if you're only joining now, you can rewind back a little bit and watch in slow motion you're doing that bow and get all your air travel tips at the same time. Uh, Jackie's saying she made loads of these in the Ukrainian colors and she raised loads of money selling I've them for Ukraine. That. And I seen your man Baz that does the houses. S O S D I Y S O S. Yeah. And um, she actually has a photograph. Jackie, put your link up to your page 
alkalami flowers. Al alchemy. I don't know how you pronounce that word. No, I don't know. <laughs> Do it phonetically for me. And um, again, people can pop over and have a look because she's photographed a Baz with her bows, okay? So again, we're back to cutting out the knickers, okay? Starting back high, you know the way, cutting down into the center, cutting out your sharp triangle, turn it over. These scissors are deadly, by the way. And again, cutting out the other side. And the secret is, is to leave like the smallest little piece in the center, like it was a pair of knickers or skimpy swimming togs or bikini bottoms. So then you can open it out and it's like a dicky bow shape, which you can hold in the center. Then you can decide how long you want your tail. So this time we'll just go a little bit shorter just to show you. So we go for the white tail. We go for our burgundy wine tails. And if you wanted more, you could add in another strip of the burgundy and another strip of the white. It's up to yourself. Again, I haven't measured them. You can see I don't believe in measuring. I'm just really casual about it. So our two strips of ribbon, I'm adding in lengthways at the back of the bow, but there is no back. I just decided that was the back. Off one of the colours, you're going to tear a thin strip. And it doesn't matter which one you tear it off, okay? So it's a skinny strip like that. And that goes across the ribbon. Do you know that I say that direction across your dicky bow? And as I said, the difficult part now is to tie a knot with them two skinny strings. You'd love to say, any chance of tying a knot there for me. But there isn't anybody in front of you, so you just use your, your belly button, okay? Your spare tire, as we call it. And Jackie is alchemy flowers. Alchemy. Flowers. Okay, yeah. alchemy flowers. Um, so pop over and follow Jackie's page there, and you'll see all the photographs. Pull the knot really, really tight and then tie a double knot. Store it like that till you're ready to use it. You can strip up all the little tails like I showed you previously, you know, that way if you want it, you know what I mean, you can tear them as thin as you want and you can do the two of them at the same time like I'm doing here. If you want to, you can get your scissors and you can run the blade along the edge of the ribbon, stretch it like it's elastic and that's what makes the little curly bits. Some people love the curly bits, some people prefer them straighter. Do you know the way it's up to yourself? And then whenever you're ready to open the bow, you decide which hand am I going to use. So one hand is inside the bow and the other hand, your clean hand, because you're going to lick it, is going to pull out the loops. You pull out the loop, the inside one, so whichever one comes to you first, okay? But as you pull it out, you twist it to your body. Do you see the angle, the way I'm twisting it? And because it's two colours, the next one also gets twisted in the same direction, okay? And we normally call that to me to me. The next one then goes the opposite direction which I call to you, to you. And the next one then is back to me, to me. And the next one to you, to you. So you're kind of giving them a twist as you're doing it to me, to me and do what you like with your last one. And that's only one side of the bow opened. So then you turn it upside down and you do the exact same thing and you can see the two tails are there, right? So treat the tails like a loop. So the first one is the white one. So pull it to me. The next one is the wine one. Pull it to me. The next one is the white loop. Pull it to you. The wine loop. Pull it to you. The white loop. Pull it to me. The wine one. Pull it to me. So it's to me, to me, to you, to you. That's when you have two colours. If any of our counties had three colours, it'd be to me, to me, to me, to you, to you, to you. you so if you were doing it in the Irish colours, like were the doing green, white, and white and orange, like I said we did for our suitcases going to America. Now, any of your straight pieces, do you see like this? I forgot to show you this in the earlier, the other row. What you can just do is fold them kind of over in half and do like a duck or a dove cut, you know, the way up into the center of it and you get that little V. That's a bit of a bockety one there that I did. A bockety one, yeah. In other words, crooked. <laughs> and again, do your little dove cut up into it. That's a straighter one. And you see the way you get that little dove cut at the end. You could just cut on a slant. If you find that difficult, you could just cut it on a slant. So there's our Galway bow. For the wing mirror. For the Galway girls. Galway girls. Um, because that's not going to distract them. And this is for the Kerry ones coming up on the train. Do you know that way? Can you imagine the Kerry train? And all these streamers are going to be hanging out the windows. you know that way? And the carriage will be fully decorated. Now, we have to come on another day to do all the other colours. Yeah, well, Bridget way? Fanning says the only ribbon she'll be needing this weekend is green and white for the hurling ladies. She's from Limerick, from Limerick originally. Well, very, very best of luck to the Limerick ladies. And very Deirdre Lynn says, great travel, travel tips. And you're the best. As for the Cindy's knickers, she'll never forget how to make a bow. 
great okay. demo. Brilliant. Listen, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you could give us a quick share, you know, that way maybe somebody else watching could be from Kerry or Galway and they might like to see the bowls. And anybody then that would like to see the selection of materials from O'Neill's and get all their details. And it was Ellen that was on from O'Neill's and she did go over to Facebook and she posted their website over there as well. And if you have any questions, you can contact Ellen. Her phone number is 042 937 6977. It's in the comments. Or drop her an email because obviously she might want to be answering the phone and drop me an email it's info at o'neill's there's an s at the end flowers s at the end dot ie so info at o'neill's flowers dot ie they're based up in carlingford county lounge you know that way i will be using all this material um when we come back in september when we well, end of august when we start on the autumnal door reach you know that way we'll be sick of looking at the lavender one at that stage and then we'll obviously be getting ready for christmas but i think anybody that's watching there i would recommend buy in that velvet red ribbon because i know every year we can never get it you know yeah. that way it's completely sold out because there's only is it 25 meters on a camp i'm as blind as a bat can't see but it takes a meter for every bow so if there's only 10 meters on the roll, that's 10 bowls. If there's 25 meters, that's 25 bowls. You know the way? Like you absolutely fly through. And there's loads of other things that we can use it for, like not just for bowls. Uh, Sarah wants to know, can you just call into O'Neill's, ring them or email them? I'm I don't sure know. I'm sure you can. And again, what I've told Ellen, seeing that she's nothing else to do today, so her boss told me anyway, <laughs> put all the questions to O'Neill's in the comments. And Ellen is going to read back through all the comments and she'll answer them all. Do you know the way? So just post your question here or drop her an email. And very quickly again, loads of comments on your dress Jeanette um, and you know what it's not walking walk <laughs> for a change I'm at the Wexford supporters Ruby Rouge and again I got this in the sale I did you know that way so there's another great clothes shop it's an online shop you know that way and Ruby R-U-B-Y Rouge R-O-U-G-E somebody Jackie there you might tag them they're based in Wexford I've never been in the shop in my life buy everything online you know that way and um, you can't see the end of it but like it's, it's split at the end I have to say and it's as light and as airy and as flowy you know that way and if you have um, bingo wings it kind of camouflages the bingo wings as well it's a great little dress can't remember the price less than 50 euros anyway like it was in their sale and so, still have them and everyone is loving the demo loving the bowls listen thanks a million for joining us and uh, we do have live but they're not really live because we'd be on holidays but we do have live classes coming up every wednesday if you're watching today and you missed yesterday's there was a fantastic one yesterday at 12 o'clock if i say so myself Fog free sustainability, anybody that wants to go back and watch that one. We had an amazing one last night doing the lavender. That was Lawrence, really live. Which was which was really live live. And as I said, every Wednesday at 12 o'clock we're going to continue the live lives that are not really live, pre-recorded lives, but at least it'll keep you kind of up to date. Keep in touch with us. We do depend on you to comment, give us a little bit of response, give us a thumbs up, lots of hearts, you know that way, and say something, you know that way. And again, if you share, it's an extra bonus for us. So talk to you all very, very soon. Have a lovely summer, have a lovely weekend, and um, we're probably not going to be really live. Unless we go live, Unless we go live from our holidays, we're all yeah. We're in Spain because I know Deirdre and myself are going to be overlapping on holidays, you know, which you can't resist each other. <laughs> so we probably will go live over there, but they're probably showing you how to do cocktails. Yeah. More than likely, it'll be a cocktail class, probably not a flare ranging class. Listen, goodbye, everyone. Lovely, and thanks a million for joining us.